Hello everyone, this is Matt Hoots with Sawhorse for another episode of Fresh Air Fridays and I'm here with Ralph with Neolith and we're going to talk about some of the cleaning, off-gassing and why Neolith is good for your home or office with respect to fresh air. So first of all, the EPA put out a list of all the chemicals that we can use or not use on surfaces. And I noticed that a lot of the ones that other companies had, like bleach, um, well, first of all, don't use bleach in your house, especially for cleaning. While it is good for getting rid of some of the pathogens, it's not good for indoor air quality. Mm, okay. But as far as your product, like, are there any limitations of what cleaning products we can use on Neolith? Well, you know, you, we want to keep it within reason, um, but you're not going to damage it. You know, only thing that can actually dissolve or really etch the surface would be like hydrochloric acid or something like that. But we recommend Barkeeper's Friend or Acetone for cleaning if you want to, but uh, or Palm Olive, something that's pH balanced. So know? pretty much anything that you would usually use on a surface is, exactly. is good for Neolith. And, um, Coral 9, um, you know, cleaning, you know, bubble, the bubble uh, spray it. for your tub or whatever, that stuff is, works really well. It's really a uh, very durable surface, none porous, so you'll find cleaning it, you don't really have to put those harsh chemicals in it, and it's all natural, so it's not gonna off any gases, you're not gonna smell it when it eats Got up. It. You leave the AC off in your house, and you come back to your home, your home is kinda hot, you're not gonna smell meal it. It's oh. all natural. So basically, like when you're cleaning a countertop, make sure you do spray the disinfectant they're using on there. Observe the dwell time, and the dwell time is how long the disinfectant needs to stay on the surface in order for it to clean. But what we're finding out here is it doesn't matter how long it sits on there, Neolith is not going to be damaged by the chemicals. So you, you, you alluded to something else earlier with this when it, when it comes to the chemical composition of these. There really aren't chemicals in here that are not natural. Yes. There's not bonding agents like you have in other quartz composites that are going to off gas. And so as far as like the certification, like this, this is, we're not going to have any VOCs coming off of this product. You're right. And, 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 and to your statement about leaving it on, we don't know what customers have. Customers have some crazy things in their house. So we can't just actually say it's impervious to them leaving something completely on there. But we, what I can tell you, it's made of clay feldspar, silicon yeah. glass, and it has a porosity score of 0 0.98, and it's non-porous, UV fade resistant, and it doesn't have any resin. So clay it actually bonds the, the uh, stone together, the components of clay feldspar, silicon glass together, and causes the whiteness in it. And so on a diffusion level, on a molecular level, those components kind of gel together and come together wow. and bond together. So you don't have to use a clay or resin or anything like that. And that's why we can claim and get all those LED certifications yeah. because uh, it won't off any gas. And when you put it outside in your outdoor kitchen, like it's so often using, use, or you clad the exterior of a building, you're not going to walk by and smell it and it's, or, or, or have any kind of reaction to it. And it's, it's not agitated either. So really, yeah, really with the cleaning products that we're talking about is more of common household cleaners. Now, we're talking about, this is Fresh Air Friday. We're not talking about putting hydrochloric acid on these lines. <laughs> Obviously, right. that, that will clean the surface. Yeah, but be that, clear, though, you know, because but, people try anything, you know. But, I mean, um, what we have, we do have examples where I take this iron gray or iron moss, and I actually, on my product knowledge trainings, I get a torch. And my boss has this little bitty torch that he likes to use. I like to use that blue one in Home Depot mm -hmm. or the yellow one. Uh, I have a blue one, and I put it on here, and I heat this up. Wow. While holding it at the same time, and you won't smell anything. You'll smell the torch, maybe, but you won't smell the stone. So what you're saying is that instead of cleaning materials, we can take a blowtorch to the countertops <laughs> and, and disinfect it that way, right? Well, you could theoretically do yeah. that and stuff if you wanted to damage your nice countertops. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, you know, but it's um, it's very resistant to heat, and we're proud of the fact that it's all natural. So uh, treat it like you would clay, you know, or consider it clay, you know, clay. You can, it's not bonded together with any kind of chemical. It's not gonna, you're not gonna smell a clay ceramic product. Wow. You know, so this is almost just like that. So whether cleaning with, with a normal non-VOC chemical and also installing this, this is not going to negatively impact the indoor air quality in a house. No, it's me. not. No, it's not. It's gonna help you. And uh, you know, if you want a clean, serene environment that's kind of, you know, as pristine as we can get it, as man can get it, you know, 
you would actually have Neolip in your home. So one thing I do want to clarify though, like when this gets attached, most, most installers use a silicone. We would use, need to use a low or no VOC adhesive to put this on top of the countertops. Exactly. Uh, something like maybe companies like Ardex or uh, Fisher, uh, they make these adhesive compounds that are made like semi, like cement or gr grout or whatever, you know, you Absolutely. put that on the back of it and you double butter it and then fix it to a wall that way. You wouldn't use, I mean, you could, that's just, put silicone on there, but we yeah. wouldn't recommend that. We want you to bond it to a cementitious background. Yeah, well, we're, we're trying to use products that don't off-gas and bring those chemicals Absolutely. into the house. Well, that's the way to do that right there. Okay, well, I do appreciate all this great information for our Fresh Air Fridays. If you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up, and for your benefit, we've loaded up all of the other Fresh Air Friday videos to the side over here, and we've also put a notification for subscribing. And stay safe.